All right, hello YouTubers. So, in the past I've uh, published videos that show how I uh, um, pyrolyze IC chips in my foundry here in order to uh, extract gold from them. Well, I've I found a way to improve the process. The process, the problem I was having before was that uh, I was pyrolyzing the chips, but there was a lot of carbon left, and the carbon, the carbon is just nasty to deal with. It's 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 a mess for one thing, and for another, the porous carbon tends to hold gold. What I have done here is I've got my air compressor over here, and there's a little regulator back here, and I am running a little trickle of air through a steel brake line into the bottom, and you can't really see it because of the flames here, into the bottom of the uh, crucible in the foundry. So the air is actually helping oxidize all of that carbon in there that's, that's formed during the pyrolyzing process. And I get a much better ashing of the chips. They come out nice and white all the way through the carbon is all burned off, and the fluffy ash is so easy to separate from the metal and the gold, the base metal and the gold, it's, it's a, just a wonderful thing. Plus, pumping the air in there, I get a lot less smoke when I'm, uh, when I'm pyrolyzing the chips. There's just, you know, it, it's, so it's, it's a wonderful thing all the way around. I will uh, show you a little bit more of this later. Okay, the flames have died down a lot. The bulk of... Uh, the stuff has burned off. I can see down inside now. Maybe. You can see the crucible down in there. What's interesting is in the past, yeah, the crucible would be glowing. But, you know, it'd be kind of uniform glow. Now you can see that down at the bottom of the crucible, where the air is coming in, there's a brighter glow down there. That's, that's the plastic of the chips burning down in the bottom of the crucible, where it didn't burn before. Oh, it's pretty hot. I better back up a little bit. Um, yeah, that plastic didn't burn down in the bottom of the crucible before. It just sort of pyrolyzed and, and turned into black carbon or charcoal or whatever, which was pretty porous and would soak up um, the oxygen. Oh, turn off the compressor. Yeah, the compressor just kicked in. Turn that off. But uh, the plastic would uh, would pyrolyze down in there and just turn into black nasty carbon that would was porous and would hold on to gold you know when I dissolve uh, the gold out of this out of it with aqua regia and it would just hold on to it and I could rinse that black stuff over and over and over again and it would still be holding on to gold I could rinse it ten times and my I uh, used to do a stans chloride test and it'd still be saying me that there's gold in it so this gets the, the, the chips ashed much better. There's there's so much less carbon. It's it's minor by comparison to what it was before. Now what I've done is I've turned down the propane. The propane flame is is way down now because the, the chips are hot enough that they are combusting. Whoa, it's hot coming out of there. They are combusting with the air going in. And the crucible, it's hard to see on the video, but the crucible is glowing a lot brighter than the inside of the foundry now. So the chips are, are combusting in there and producing their own heat now. There, that's, that's a pretty good... You can see how bright orange it is inside the crucible, whereas it's a much duller orange outside. So... The chips are combusting, the plastic is combusting, the carbon is combusting away. It's a beautiful thing. I turned the propane off entirely, and uh, it's been off for quite a little while. Uh, but look at how bright that uh, crucible is still glowing as the, uh, as the carbon gets burned off in there, in the airflow. So... It doesn't need any external heat anymore. It's generating it's generating its own heat. In fact, it's it's getting hotter than the uh, propane fire could have got it. That oh, I wish I wish it showed up on the video better. That crucible is glowing bright orange and it's it's white hot in the middle. So I'm just going to let this go until it cools down. Um I'll let the airflow go and let it let it continue to burn off the carbon. And uh, you know, once once it stops and goes black, 
then I'll know that it's done. I can turn off the airflow. Pull the stuff out and let it start cooling. I'll give you a look at what uh, the chips look like after they've cooled off enough to handle. And just how ashy they are and how little carbon's left. This process works great. It's been about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes since I filmed the last segment, so it stopped glowing in there. You see how white the chips are. Now you're going to have to uh, consider this brake line to be consumable because the bottom few inches of it are missing now. But that's okay. I guess I got a long piece. I can keep using it and keep using it until it's too short. We turn the air off. All right. Let me get the lid off the foundry here. Ooh, it's hot in there. As you can see how nicely ash the chips are. I mean, that one right there is falling apart on its own. So after these cool off, they're going to go through a blender. And it'll just be ash and bits of metal. And by the way, these chips have been through my... Um, process of removing the legs. So there were no legs on any of these chips before they went in here. I have another video on YouTube showing how I removed the legs by soaking them in AP solution for a couple of weeks. So if you're not in a big hurry, that works great and you have a lot less base metal to deal with when the legs are gone. So this is going to go through a blender. Um, it'll be ash and bits of metal. Um, I will separate it. You gravity separate it with, uh, with water and panning and uh, all the metal. Since there's so much less metal now to deal with without the legs, I just dissolve it all in nitric acid, and then whatever's left gets uh, dissolved in aqua regia to recover the gold. So anyway, that's the way it works. And uh, well, let me let's wait till they cool off here, and I'll show you just just what they look like after they're cool. I'll take a, I'll get the crucible out and I'll dump them into a into a, a cast iron frying pan. And they'll cool quicker that way. Here's the chips out they're still cooling off and some of them some of them don't look like they've been very well done I mean that one's still a little black on the outside but if you look at it on the inside look at that it's solid white oh that's hot solid white on the inside yeah let me get here with a glove and then this one's white and you break it in half yeah solid white on the inside all the carbon's been burned off look at that that one was kind of dark on the outside but still Solid white on the inside, except for where the silicon dye is. So, yeah, these are these are pretty thoroughly oxidized, ashed. Just solid white on the inside, even if it's a little black on the outside. Oh, and there's the there's the piece of brake line I lost, a couple inches of it. And sorry about that, the compressor came on. I'm doing a second batch now while this stuff cools off. So I can uh, grind them all up in the blender at once. Yeah, look at that. Completely oxidized all the way through. And the problem I was having before was they'd be oxidized on the outside, but they'd still be black on the inside, and there'd be a whole lot of carbon to deal with. Now, this one's pretty black all over, but if I break it in half, look at that. Pure white on the inside. So there's going to be a lot less carbon to deal with. There's a lot less metal to deal with since, uh, or base metal to deal with since I've uh, um, dissolved all the legs off of them before I ashed them here. So uh, this is a is, is a really helpful process. This works great. Just yeah, they're just falling apart basically, and they're white all the way through. The blender will make short work of them. It'll be a fine fluffy powder that I'll be able to to wash off of the off of the metal bits um, with. Uh, I could get my mini sluice out too, rather than panning, I could get my mini sluice out and run all this stuff through the sluice. That might be a lot quicker, especially if I get two or three uh, loads of this stuff done today, I'll have a lot. So anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, how I've improved my, uh, my method of, uh, of, of pyrolyzing, and actually in this case oxidizing and ashing IC chips before processing them for the gold they contain. and. Uh, I've been doing this for a while now, and it makes it a whole lot easier to get the gold out. There's, there's just so much less carbon to deal with, and that is a beautiful thing. So, thanks for watching. Keep it safe out there.